Howdy folks and welcome to this let's play of Stellaris. My name is Cenelius and we're going to be carrying on with our last let's play's save game, which we of course played as humans, which was number 56. So welcome to let's play Stellaris 57 as humans. So whilst that game is loading, let's have a brief look at where we actually are. So we have got a fairly large chunk of space in our control here. Looking at our population itself. Uh, population, demography. So as you can see, the humans are still making up the most part of that, 55%. <clears throat> the Oscox, some of our neighbors, they got a fairly large percentage in our population here as well. So we basically see the total population size of that as well. Um, do we see numbers in here? <clears throat> okay, uh, let's go back to where we were just a second ago. So then we got the uh, Rotak, which is from these guys up here. So one of our Federation members again, <clears throat> Bogovan, which I believe is one of our, it's one of the species that we uplifted earlier. Yep, these guys here, they're, they're fungoids. We uplifted them in one of the early episodes, so they got 18 population members. <coughs> Apologies. <coughs> Spread over three different planets. <coughs> but again, they're part of our empire. Then we got some additional fact, uh, population types like the Kirim, <coughs> then Ultur, Illustra, etc. Et so we got numerous different population percentages within our galaxy, or at least within our empire <clears throat> united nations of earth anyways we are looking of course for additional planets to colonize so we still got some colonization ships ready here to send out <clears throat> so we do come across some interesting planets then of course we will go for those we do have some neighbors here that we're not really too happy with they're not too happy with us either Let's offer some of those some access to, for example, our wormhole stations. <clears throat> so we're going to try to basically increase my relationships with some of those. <clears throat> They've accepted it. They've decided to accept it. Amazing. <clears throat> um, what are these guys here? Republic of Kormantani Sons. <clears throat> okay. Arctic now. At the moment we are researching Arctic, I believe, yeah. <clears throat> so we're slowly pushing some of these worlds back to become part of, well, I get pushing them part of, we're pushing them back to become part of our domain in terms of <clears throat> where do they fit in, etc. So they've got a colony here, it looks like. Population 15. Armies, I got, I got some insight into that, oddly enough. <clears throat> Didn't expect to be able to see this. But we can actually see their population on planet. <coughs> <coughs> Again, apologies. Um, so let's have a look. Let's actually have a look at what we can actually get done. Non-aggression pact invitation. Sovereign Boshaki Stars entered into a non-aggression pact with the Jezean pol polity. These guys here. And non-aggression pact with these guys up here. Now, I thought I wanted, would be able to get them to become our members of our federation. Now, they are not members yet. As you can see, otherwise they'll be listed here. Rival with them. <coughs> As a defensive pact with the United Julian Sovereignty. United Julian Serenity, which is these guys here. <clears throat> now, we had been at war with the guys up here, Gizian Polity before, as well as with the uh, Rutherian Confederation. Rutherian Confederation, earlier on in our game, declared war upon us. <clears throat> we were able to beat them off, but since then we have grown to such immense size that they wouldn't be able to challenge us anymore, which is... I guess a good thing. Um, let's start moving some of our fleet elements again into central focal points. It's a transport fleet I got there. I thought it was a different fleet. 
let's move him there on the other hand. <coughs> so where is this fleet here? This fleet here is in this system here. And I can merge it. What's that? That's my third fleet. Again, I can merge these two into a single. System survey complete. Completed yet another survey. We had sent out two of our science vessels to start exploring some of this territory here. I know it's not our own territory, but at least we were exploring it for the purpose of being able to get a better understanding of actually what kind of planets they had over there. Now, luckily with that latest patch, the Asimov patch, it now allows us to travel through friendly territory. <clears throat> so we're surveying those other systems. I'm kind of hoping to be able to find more artifacts, etc., etc. Unlikely, but you never know. We've got some inactive buildings here. It looks like New Roanoke had slowly been Ships upgraded. released. Okay, let's go and have a look at the other systems here. Power plant I can upgrade again. Lots of buildings I can upgrade. I've got the resources to actually do all the upgrading, so I'm, I'm not too worried about that. <coughs> of course, I do want to get the best possible power output for each of my planets. But also, in this instance, mining is upgradable. Nothing on this planet to be upgraded. <coughs> Again, apologies. <coughs> this is, I guess, one of my most diverse planets in terms of population. I got Karim on there, Rotak, I've got Togovan on there. Uh, did I miss anyone? No, I don't think so. But yeah, it, it's quite wide, quite diverse in terms of the different population members I got on that particular planet. Now, I've just researched the cloud lightning there I want to next research do want to research hmm I got some other options here down here still but I think I really want to go for one of these let's go for the physics labs <coughs> next item to be finishing its research should be the engineering item Followed by the society item. And we have got a new president leading our empire. Let's have a look at their mandate. It's a research mandate. Okay. At this particular stage in the game itself, I don't really see me meeting those mandates anymore. <coughs> uh, sorting out the errands, uh, the inner. Uh, errant innards of the shattered drones took much longer than anticipated as each drone seemed to have built by a slightly different design. Uh -huh. Separated from rest, clear these parts are somewhat modern. If alien make, uh, could not be tempered with the drones. Interesting. So it says we can research something here. Is that something I got in the list here? No, I don't see that in the list. On planet? I don't see it on planet either. To gel. <clears throat> Where are they from? They are xenophobes, militarists, spiritualists, natural engineers, nomadic, ocean preferred, etc. etc. Look at our leader list. Let's have a look at our leader list now. <clears throat> Oddly enough, it does say that these are available, even though they are assigned to different fleets already. I'm not entirely sure why that is. Alright, let's have a look. So this particular fleet here is in that system there. I think what I'm going to do, I've just got my secondary fleet, which is... Over here, which has got about a strength of <coughs> close to 10,000. On this side here, main battle fleet is on this side. So the one is basically on the north, the other is on the west. Uh, I could, of course, upgrade them again. It does tell us straight away what it's upgrading. That's my second fleet, and that's my main fleet. Can I can upgrade that as well. 
fine. Uh, but I think I want to basically get a third fleet, and I want to probably base that up there. I probably ultimately want to get another fleet beyond that. <coughs> but I just want to basically be able to combine different entries as such. So I've got two different Ships fleets here. Completed. Can I combine those? And once they are combined, they are all the same class, it looks like. I want to move them into orbit over there. Now, I do have some defensive platforms around here, which I can actually upgrade all one by one, which I guess I will be doing. System one, two, three... One, two, three, four. Okay. <clears throat> Second fleet has been fully upgraded. Cool. So they are in orbit of one of my stations here already. Upgrading that space station there to the max. Let's accelerate the clock a little bit. In terms of my assigned ships, they're both still assigned to missions, which is good. I got several construction ships here as well. They're all assigned to their own individual tasks. Well, at the moment, they're all resting. I can't really upgrade any of these at the moment. <coughs> so I'll just leave them where they are for the moment. Uh, I've got I could build terraforming stations if I wanted to. I'm just going to leave that as it stands for the moment. Let's just accelerate time. Should of course see our mineral reserves growing. Maximum of 20,000 we got on there. <coughs> Energy maximum of 4,750. We have detected the presence of a primitive alien civilization in one of the systems that we were visiting there. That's within someone else's territory, so we're not going to be able to do anything with that, unfortunately. Okay, well, at least we found it. So, we've got several different factions who are available. Ships upgraded. System survey complete. My battle fleet has been fully upgraded, which is perfect. At least I'm consistent in terms of my weapons there now. System survey complete. Strength of 10,000. Dracian Stars is about to expire. We have got a migration access. They trade nothing. Now, I believe I've already got something else replacing that. <coughs> I can give them wormhole access, which is fine. I like Tendraki. Okay, guys, fine. So where's our Federation stand at the moment? <coughs> So there is, so at the moment we've got a leader, which is the Oscar Star Coalition, are leading us at the moment. <coughs> so, there, we got, I believe as far as I can see here, Federation ships, Federation fleets, they're in different locations. And again, actually, I can actually visit them if I wanted to. So they're in this system over here. Where's the other ones? Same system. That looks like a different system. That's actually in the Oscox star systems themselves. Again, that's with the rest, it looks like. I'm pretty sure that we had designed some Federation ships as well. <coughs> in terms of armies, we are by far the biggest, but again, in terms of planets, we are the biggest as well. So I guess in terms of armies per planet, we are one of the lowest. Yeah. 
doesn't really matter, does it? It's not all about size, it's not all about the numbers, it's about basically having the best possible ones in there. So we have got over here another ship which we would like to be able to use, but we cannot because we don't do colonization of Arctic worlds yet. Like, I might want to send this one to this planet here just because it is an Arctic planet. Having pieced together the foreign objects inside the destroyed drones that have been identified by our experts as a one way transmitter. Since they are not set to receive, it's safe to assume that the drones were not acting in the behest of some third party. Rather, some entity has been keeping tabs on the drone's activity and is advisable to look into this matter, so a special project has been prepared. Marvelous. So, a special project. Where is the special project? <clears throat> System survey complete. Okay. What is that? A fortress? Oh, okay. Our president's reign has come to end with the elections campaign promise unfulfilled. Yes. Because the president has died. And a new election are on the way. <clears throat> we can influence this. So our leaders of the different sectors seem to be in the lead over there. This is another leader here. Loyalist. I think I want to actually have that loyalist in a leadership position. Yeah, let's support him. So where is he now? Is he in the lead? 17%. Let's get him up to 30. So I'm not sure how old he is. He is 128, so again, yeah. One of our governors has leveled up. Service construction, etc., etc. Now, have I got all my leaders working diligently? That's the youngest one. Interesting. Wow. Any empty leader shots? Not at the moment. <clears throat> so let's accelerate time again. various different resources <clears throat> at my disposal here. Let's see, I believe I was upgrading this particular space station here. Maybe not this one, it was the other one that I was upgrading then. Anyways, I want to make sure that on the front lines here I got the upgraded Situation entries. Okay, so Carlos was elected. Where did Carlos come from? Was he the guy that we basically had promoted? I believe so. So what kind of a comp uh, impact will that have on our leaders? So if I look at our M planets here, none of these sectors have lost their leader. I've got one leader. Ah, it's one of our admirals that's been taken away from us. Not really a major issue, but okay. It does give me an opportunity to get a new leader in place here. System survey <clears throat> complete. So as you can see, I now finally got some alien leaders that I can actually start assigning here. I want to keep this one to a human leader for the moment. <clears throat> I would ideally be able to get additional leaders where I can. Mining mandate. Ooh. Okay, so our next item to finish research should be the auto cannon, Stormfire auto cannon. So two entities have made peace. Let's have a brief look. So that's, I believe, these guys down here, the, the Republic of Zerma and the. Ah. The, how do you pronounce that? Kupinyaxi Combine. 
looks like there has been a revolt there because there is the Kopinyaksa Yaksi state as well as the combine. Okay. I want to make sure I get some of my science vessels into that territory there to at least explore that as much as I can. Research be completed. We can assign a new research project. <coughs> Which one do I want to get? Let's go for the Ripper Auto Cannon. They've stopped guaranteeing the independence of the state there. Okay. Let's offer them a migration access. What else can we offer them? Research agreement. Let's do that for the next 10 years. Yep. Okay. Let's actually have a look at what else we can offer them. So could we basically get our hands on information like star charts? Star charts? How can I appease them slightly? Gosh. It gets to be expensive, doesn't it? I can do it with five, but over 30 years. I guess that sounds reasonable. <coughs> So I can finally get to see where they are, what they've got, etc., etc. System survey complete. Research complete. Okay. So they've agreed with this option here. Alliance invitation. So they have joined the Zerma League. Interesting. I'd never heard of the Zerma League before. We have just completed research, so we can actually finally colonize those Arctic worlds. Naval capacity can be increased. Biolabs 2. Let's go for the biolabs. Always useful to be able to boost our research itself. Now, our science vessels are still fully engaged. I do have this ship here, which... I was hoping to be able to use to colonize Arctic because I'm pretty sure I just unlocked the Arctic. So let's have a look at this ship here. I can colonize this one now. Good. <clears throat> Which location would be best? Let's place it over here. Okay, I'm happy with that name. And that is on the border there. If I look at this one here. Why am I not able to add ah, Arid, not Arctic? Arid. Silly old me. Arid. Arid. Arctic. Okay, let's place them there. Fine. Let's take off the last one that we got on Earth. Tundra, Eret, Toon, Eret, Arctic, Tundra. Let's have a look at some of the other borders. So we got Arctic here as well. Construction complete. Continental, Eret. Anything up there? No, nope, nothing up there. I thought I might have some of the borders here. Tomb, Arctic. Good. Another Arctic one. So have we got a planet here already colonized? I don't think so. We have got a outpost here. Perfect. So that gives me a chance to, of course, boost our outputs on the various different planets. It boots these buildings first here, 
and let's build ourselves a set of colony ships. Uh, what's the key difference? Xenophile, fanatic individualist, individualist. Okay. Oops. Let's build another one. Yes, single click would have been sufficient, I guess. <clears throat> put an observatory on place here which of course I guess would be useful so if I do were to look at the galaxy the circle around Sol should increase with that observatory let's build some extra fleet and vessels here as well so that's an individualist xenophobe I don't want a xenophobe really do I no xenophobe where did the xenophobes come from Xenophiles, I want the Xenophiles. And then, uh, of course, Individualist, Fanatic, I guess. Good. Good. Resource storage is full, so we've reached the storage capacity for energy. I was always running with a shortage on them. Interesting. It's such a large surplus now. Wow. could be to do of course with leadership that I've assigned but I'm, I'm not sure okay either way I've got two fleets in this system here which I really want to merge merging with first fleet so let's rename this one it's not first fleet, this is third fleet. And really what I wanted to do now as well, given the time that we basically spent on this particular Let's Play, I'd like to just call it the end of the day. Um, just, again, let's pause the game. And again, thank you very much for joining us. Hopefully I'll see you on the next one. And please leave any comments or likes down below. Thank you.